Well, I returned to Angkor Wat today because there was a special spot I wanted to climb today. And it was closed when Don and I were here that day. So I wore my special Cambodian shirt and I'm prepared to climb it. And uh, here we go. No hat? Lisa. Morning. No hat? Yes, no hat. Okay. Wow. I'm good? Yes. All right. Here we go. Can go. Thank you. And what's this called, this tower? What's the name uh, of it? Buddha Statues. Okay. Buddha Statues. We call it Baka. Okay. Baka. Okay. Well, here we go. Always wanted to climb this. It's steeper than hell. And the original stairs are so wore out that they put the wooden stairs here with a railing. And you can tell why. It's a very steep slope. If I said 45 degrees, I don't think I would be wrong. And if you fall, you go all the way to the bottom. Give a quick pan here. This don't make you sweat, nothing will. It's kind of a no hat zone here. I guess they've had a lot of hats blow off and people reaching for them. It's supposed to be a no dress zone too. I'm not trying to puff, but the humidity is something. Okay, I'm almost here guys. Coming through, my dear. Sorry, I'm gonna photo bomb you. Here we are. Okay. Here's the view from the top. They seem to be still painting. I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I'm catching a breeze here in this doorway here. As you can see, it's all, again, all ornately carved. It's amazing, it's everywhere. Even the top is carved. I never noticed that until just now. Ooh. Look at the view here. Some of these temple lids were, I guess, dismembered, as the story goes, by some somebody's son when the father passed away who was I'll call him the Sultan or the king he uh, he came in here and he took the temple tops off so some of them are in ruin but a few of them survived just trying to show people how high up I am with a uh, people down there as reference see those balusters are everywhere None of them turn. They all seem to be cemented. At one point, they may have been some form of uh, turning for good luck. I want to draw your attention to the roofs. These roofs are all stone. They're, and they're carved on a slight curve. And they all tie in at the very top. I've been through some of the hallways and you can see there is a keystone like they make them, but they're curved. It's incredible how the technology was back then. This one over here looks like it's been chewed down with a weed whacker. We have a lot of this wood up here because I believe that the millions of people that come through here have ground the walkways right down. And uh, there's a lot of steps that are all ground down from walkways. Fabulous. Happy to be here. Some areas are suffering in the age, I believe. They're putting up wood to just give it a little extra support, take the weight off of it. And I'm sure there must be some cracks that they've seen and to prevent injury, they've shored it up with modern timber, modern mine techniques, I presume. Fabulous. Here 
Here is the entrance to Angkor Wat, where we walked up the other day. Lots of pictures taken there. You can see the other courtyards. Lightning rods. In this climate, you need it. I'm going to take you down to one of the, what I think is a pond or a swimming pool. Don't ask me how they get the water up here, but that's all it resembles is a pool. Look at this. I'm going to pan up, give you an idea. Just the incredibleness here. Believe it or not, I smell incense burning. I guess there's another Buddha back in there that you can burn incense and give offerings to. The carvings are everywhere. One thing that surprises me is there's no real graffiti from hundreds of years of abuse here, I'm sure. I saw the odd bit of a gra graffiti, but uh, nothing that I don't think the world hasn't seen before. Anyway, next shot, I'll be going down the stairs. skydive before and this is about as much anxiety as my first skydive. See the people coming up. Well, Geronimo. Mira, podríamos I got the stairs to myself, so if I fall, I'm not going to hit anybody. It is steep as heck. You don't go sliding down the rail here too quickly. This might be a long stretch. Oh, butterfly. I hope that's a sign of good luck. Butterfly. Oh, uh oh. I hope that's a sign of good luck. This was the reason that I came today was to climb this tower and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Believe it or not. No giggling here. Strictly business.
Peace cake. Peace cake. Well, that concludes my trip up the tower here at Angkor Wat. These are all people I think have gone up and down. They're all pretty tired. I'm gonna call it a day here. I'm going on to actually another, another temple. My driver says there's another temple to go to. I'm not sure the name yet, but I'm heading off. So this is Fred saying goodbye and thanks for coming along and we're living the dream.